chemtrails. What a fascinating topic. So I've gathered by chemtrails on this new series of I call bullshit or whatever it's going to be called in the title is that chemtrails are chemicals that are released into the atmosphere uh, by way of usually airplanes or jets and the evidence of this is primarily the streaming white streamers behind these aircrafts and that's evidence of chemtrails chemical trails releasing toxins poisons mind control um, kill the vegetation make the population stupid make people population sterile <sighs> okay well not that I don't completely dismiss the possibility of shit like that going on because I do believe that there is some covert shit that we're completely unaware of but the theory that it's been that is being done with chemtrails in the manner that is being projected in the media is uh, retarded. It basically retarded. And let's let's just let's just apply some critical thinking and logic to this, okay? Okay. First off, if you have any understanding of combustion, physics, mechanics, even rudimentary automobile combustion motors. Um, just fucking common sense. I mean, if I light something on fire, I'm looking around, God forbid. Oh, I have a lighter. Denied. Okay, but we're pretty sure you could agree with me that um, if I light something on fire, it's going to produce smoke. Most things will produce smoke, right? Or some sort of gas, right? Now, if... You compress that. It's like a bomb that goes boom. See the smoke that arises from that motherfucker, right? Okay, that's the aftermath of the expulsion of energy of a combustion process. Let's stick with motors because those are pretty easy to understand. And I have my whole like analogy wrapped in. I, by the way, I don't read scripts. I just roll with the fucking shit, right? So, take car engine, right? Car engine overheats overheats blows a head gasket water in the combustion chamber produces smoke because the combustion chamber is designed to compress a certain amount of type of combustion at a certain rate at a certain time water fucks that up water turns to steam steam turns to a gaseous emissions okay y'all follow me all right anybody had a car here that smoked right blue head gasket oh jed what's more water in it Water and the oil, not good. One key way to tell that is the emissions, the smoke, right? So, it's part of a combustion process. If you light shit on fire, there's an exhaust. There's an aftermath of that process, of energy being burned and released, right? There is ash. There is smoke. Chemtrails. No, that's a major stretch. Okay, so going back to the car thing. Okay. If you, <laughs> in a, it, and I'm, ta I'm not talking to you, uh, people that drive Priuses, right? And I'm not dissing any um, Uber people or Lyft people, right? No, no, I'm talking about people who like have no idea about anything except that they're being eco-friendly and drive a Prius, cause it's good for the environment. It is, but don't you fucking ever say chemtrails to me, or I will fucking light your Prius on fire. And then you can tell me what a chemtrail is. Because that motherfucker will still produce smoke, I bet, one day, one way or the other. Now, 69 Camaro, like I just restored. Thank you very much. I'll show pictures soon. Boop, boop, boom, small block. Out of Brock Heather's carburetor, whatever. I didn't do the fuel injection, but whatever. Bam, okay, this motherfucker, it smokes when it's cold. Only when it's cold when you first start it up. It has nine and a half compression. Compression's a little high. For the atmospheric pressure in the fuel mixture, and it smokes a little bit because the fuel mixture is a little off. Because I will never admit that I didn't put the head gasket on correctly. Because that is just, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Anyway, produces a little bit of smoke. It's common, combustion motor. Now, the fact that you, some people think that there are chemtrails being released by aircrafts, right? Aircrafts in the atmosphere. 
what this has to do with the, the streaming exhaust gases that come from its giant turbine motors, by the way, that produces, I don't even know, tens of thousands of horsepower, all right, flying at 500 miles an hour or plus, right, at a certain atmospheric level, which there is a good amount of moisture or lack thereof, right, depending on how the altitude of that aircraft, right, and the expulsion of its motor at a certain rate, there's a certain point where it's going up or it's going down where you're going to see Kemp trails. No, you're going to see white gas smoke coming out those turbine motors, and it's steam, primarily steam. Now, if you think about it, okay, this is just physics. This isn't my theory. I'm not even going to go into some weird Von Helton fucking, you know, fucking out there theories about whatever. This is just this is physical science. This is a mechanical fact, right? Boil water, it releases steam. Compress it. And explode it, it will release a lot of steam. That's how trains go choo choo. That's how cars go beep beep. Okay, so you and your chemtrails, when you go back to school, if you even think for a second that an aircraft, a jet aircraft in some black ops mission is dropping some sort of chemicals to fuck with people on any level, right? I don't even care what your theory is sterilization make people vote for Donald Trump, whatever, whatever you think your theory is, if you think that they're going to do that with these jets that fly overboard, even uh, commercial jets, private jets, fucking military jets, whatever, you're, you're tripping. Why would they bother to make it obvious? Why would they bother to identify the areas that they're doing it in? If it is happening, which it may, they're not going to advertise it. They're going to be poisoning the water. They're going to be dropping, guess what? We have this thing called things that we don't light on fire, which fall to the earth invisibly in little water droplets that you can't see. Not sure we have to light on fire that makes a big fucking smoke. So your chemtrails are not chemtrails. You might be right that there are people dropping weird shit on us. I want to doubt that for a second. But your idea of chemtrails and trying to convince the public, look, you see that? Fucking airplane, Dad. Got that fucking white tail behind it. Looks kind of like, you know, your old fucking 72 Nova. Uh, chemtrail. <laughs> They're fucking making us retarded. Do I even need to, like, follow through with the punchline of that? No. So, yeah, chemtrails? No. Nope. Nope. Bring something to the table that can't just be crushed with critical thinking. If they're going to poison us, you're not going to know about it. If they're going to poison us, it's not going to be dropping things and exhaust emissions through airplanes. It's just, it's not going to happen. There's just no reason to do it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Chemtrails, done. I call bullshit on the whole thing. 